Hello and welcome to Card of the Week. In this series, we choose a card that's used in Trinity, talk about how it's used, cards it's used with, and what kind of deck you may want to play it in. Today we will be talking about Trap Stun. This rather simplistic normal trap simply reads, negate all other trap effects on the field this turn. But as with many things, the devil's in the details, and this card has a lot of play to it. The most obvious use of the card is to just chain it to another trap and protect your plays. The other trap gets negated and you get your playthrough. But you can also tempt your opponent to going deeper into a chain and hit several trap effects with it. Say your opponent uses a revival trap, you chain a monster effect that they really want to stop you from using, they chain another trap, and then you hit them with a trap stun for that sweet two for one. It can also be used prematurely to save up a lethal or a very important monster effect or something, since sometimes you won't be able to chain the card, as they will be either activating a counter trap that you won't be able to chain it to due to how spell speed works, or they'll be using a trap in the damage step. Be wary though that you may still need to play around hand traps or uh, spell based disruption, but you know, those are rare. The general synergy with the card is with high payoff but vulnerable combos. But beyond that, there's some more, like, very specific synergies. You could, for example, turn off a floodgate, like Mistake, during your own turn to make your place without needing to remove your own card, with then the effect resuming at the end of the turn, of course. Naturally, the best fit for the card is in decks with payoffs you want to protect that are not super dependent on traps. Don't get me wrong, though, you can play a fair bit of traps alongside this, and it will be no problem. But if you rely on these traps to make your plays, you may run into a few problems. It naturally pairs well with non-trap based disruption, like your own quick play spells and hand traps. I think this card is really underrated at the moment, and has a place in a lot of powerful decks like Spiral, Sky Striker Variants, Medalche, and Orcust. And that's it for today. Do you think I'm entirely wrong? Please let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next week.